Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I will present you my interpretation of current crypto market situation. I will explain you where I personally believe that we are in crypto market, whether we have entered bear market or whether the bull market is going to continue in the following weeks and months. For my crypto market analysis, I have used on-chain data from the website Grassnode. This video will be split into two parts and this is the first part. So what can we see here? This is a Bitcoin USDT weekly chart and we can see this is this blue line is 20 weeks moving average line. And historically we know that this 20 weeks moving average has worked as a support for Bitcoin when Bitcoin was in bull market. So whenever Bitcoin held this 20 weeks moving average in the past, it meant that Bitcoin was in a bull market. We can see that here the Bitcoin bounced back here also and here also the Bitcoin bounced back about this 20 weeks moving average. At these spots, it was in September last year, Bitcoin hold this 20 weeks moving average support and then it continued, continued up in a bull market. However, in May and June this year, we saw an extreme dip in Bitcoin price and Bitcoin broke through this 20 weeks moving average support. So at that moment, a lot of people were wondering whether it means we are in bear market or if it's just a correction and we still don't have the answer. But in the couple of last weeks, the price of Bitcoin increased and Bitcoin again uh, got above these 20 weeks moving average support. So at the moment, Bitcoin is strongly above these 20 weeks moving average, which again historically meant that Bitcoin is in the bull market. Now let's have a look on Ether versus USDT. This is a daily chart and this blue line indicates 50 days moving average. Again, we have got some supports and some resistances here. We can see that we can see that this 50 days moving average worked as a support for Ether at the end of 2020 and also in March, April and also in May this year. So Ether responds to this support line or responded to this support line very well. However, this 50 days moving average worked as a resistance for Ether during this dip. It was in June, between June and July, there were three time periods when this 50 days moving average worked as a resistance for Ether. But similarly as Bitcoin, Ether bounced back above this 50 days moving average line in August and at the moment Ether is strongly above this 50 days moving average line. So if this 50 days moving average line supports Ether as it did here and also at these time periods, we should be heading towards bull market again. Now let's have a look at some on-chain data from Bitcoin blockchain. This chart shows number of active entities on Bitcoin blockchain. Who is active entity? Active entity is a person or an institution who either sends or receives Bitcoin on Bitcoin blockchain and we can see uh, this indicates this arrow indicates where we are now in August and September 2021 and we can see that currently there is very low activity on the BTC network very low activity compared to the bull run in January until May this year the activity was 425,000 active entities on Bitcoin network and now it is only uh, 275 
something around 275,000 active entities, which is a huge decrease compared to this time period. We can see that the price actually is not doing so bad compared to uh, all-time high. The price is around $50,000 per Bitcoin. In April and May this year, it was all-time high, $64,000 per Bitcoin. So the difference between the prices now and uh, in April and May, the difference is not that big. But the difference in activity on Bitcoin network is huge. 425,000 active entities in January and February compared to 275,000 active entities now. That's a big difference. How can we explain that? It seems that at the moment there is very low number of new investors, institutions or retail investors very low number of these new investors invest in Bitcoin at the moment. That's why this activity or this number of active entities is not increasing. And that's why it's very low. It also seems that what pushed the price of Bitcoin up in August, despite the low number of active entities on Bitcoin network, was that uh, experienced long-term Bitcoin holders Probably those experienced long-term Bitcoin holders are the people who are pushing the price up. So what they do, it seems that they accumulate Bitcoin or they started accumulating Bitcoin down here at these low prices when Bitcoin cost $30,000, $35,000. And from that moment when they started steadily accumulate Bitcoin again, this is what pushed the price of Bitcoin up, but uh, no new interest, no new investors so far. And again, the hope is that as soon as the number of active entities on Bitcoin increases, this is when we could see the increase of Bitcoin price even above all time high. But again, it is only my speculation and there is no guarantee that we will see the continuation of bull market. And this is another chart with on-chain data from Bitcoin blockchain. This time it shows us number of transactions per day on Bitcoin blockchain. This chart shows us the similar picture as the previous chart. We can see that the all-time high of number of transactions on Bitcoin blockchain was in January. There were 320,000 transactions on Bitcoin per day. And now, at the moment, in September and August, there is about 200,000 transactions per day on Bitcoin. So it is a huge drop, about 37.5% from January. We can also see that since the beginning of this year, there was never such a low number of transactions on Bitcoin as it is now in uh, August and September. And despite that, the price per Bitcoin is about $50,000 and the price was much, much lower here in May and June 2020, despite a much, much higher number of transactions on Bitcoin compared to now. This divergence between quite high price of Bitcoin and very, very low number of uh, daily number of transactions is very interesting and it is very unusual for Bitcoin. So overall, uh, based on these two charts, Bitcoin network seems to be very sleepy and it seems like not much is going on on the network at the moment. What is also interesting to see is that such a small increase in number of transactions per day caused uh, the increase of Bitcoin price from 30,000 per uh, Bitcoin up to 50,000 per Bitcoin. So if the increase of transactions continues, the, the increase of Bitcoin price might also continue and reach even all time high. And again, this raise of Bitcoin price from $30,000 per Bitcoin up to 50,000 was probably caused by experienced long-term Bitcoin holders 
who started accumulating Bitcoin at that price, around 30,000 per Bitcoin, and pushed the price up. So this is the end of the first part of on-chain data analysis. In the second part of this video, I will show you some profit and loss charts. And I will also let you know my outlook for the following months for crypto market. Thank you very much for watching.